Tonight, America's top infectious disease doctor says vaccines should be mandatory for all teachers. It comes as local schools deal with a wave of new COVID cases. All fifth graders at Eastside Elementary are going virtual. Huge lines there today as parents pick up their kids early. The Cobb County School District is currently dealing with 185 active COVID cases. CBS 46's Mary Smith is live at Eastside Elementary tonight with the developments. Mary, good evening. Yeah, good evening. All of the fifth grade students were sent home early here today due to positive COVID-19 cases, according to an email which was sent to parents from the district here today. It's an issue not only facing Eastside Elementary, but schools nationwide. And this morning, Dr. Fauci telling MSNBC the vaccine should be mandatory for teachers to help prevent or lessen these outbreaks. Yeah, I'm going to upset some people on this, but I think we should. I mean, we are in a critical situation now. We've had 615,000 plus deaths and we are in a major surge now. That was Dr. Fauci's response Wednesday morning when MSNBC anchors asked him if the vaccine should be mandated amongst teachers. I'm sorry, I, I mean, I know people must like to have their individual freedom and not be told to do something, but I think we're in such a serious situation now that under certain circumstances, mandates should be done. In Cobb County, masks aren't mandatory, but encouraged. Some parents tell us they would like that to change following high positive case numbers, forcing fifth grade students at Eastside Elementary School in Marietta to go home early Wednesday. Chopper 46 captured the line of cars wrapping around the school's parking lot as parents were given a 30 minute window to get their kids. Which poison do you pick? Do you have the mental health issues of them by being remote and isolated? Or do you send them into the lion's den and have the, risk their health because people are telling you that masks are optional. Late this afternoon, California's governor announced a first in the country, a statewide teacher vaccine mandate. In Georgia, no such movement, but the Georgia Association of Educators says. We agree that educators should be vaccinated. Um, at this point, with the mandates coming before there is full approval, we don't think, we think educators should be involved in that process. We did ask the district exactly how many students here have tested positive the past few days and how many students or teachers have to quarantine. They did not answer that. But according to data that it released last Friday, it releases data every Friday. So the latest data being the sixth, three students or three active positive COVID cases are here within the school. We're live in Marietta tonight. Mary Smith, CBS 46 News. Mary, thank you. And speaking of which, this breaking news right now, masks will be required at all schools in Johns Creek starting tomorrow. The Fulton County School District says it's because of a significant increase in cases there, putting the city over their threshold for a mask mandate. Johns Creek was the only city in Fulton County not requiring masks during the first week of school.